Yo, what's up guys? So, the past few streams, some people asked me about uh, making a video on cash, just kind of explaining the map. So, all these strats and how to play some of these areas is how, it's just how I play it, or how I would play it, and what's the... Uh, how I think the proper ways to play it. So all these are just my opinions. There's obviously different different ways of playing it. So what I recommend is to watch some of Jen's videos because some of his videos are pretty good. He explains it pretty well and gives good ideas of how to retake, how to play certain areas, some of the strats. So with that being said We'll kind of start with the B side because some people asked how to solo B, and it's just how I would play it. So I would ask my rotator to use his nades early for me. Like, let's say I want this smoke, I'd ask him to do it, and maybe I'd boost some vent or he'd rotate off. But let's say he's forced out and he has to rotate to Z to spawn. And if it's late round, what I want to do is kind of play default because this spot's really good. It's really common, but it's also really good. When they B split on you or start taking B executing on you, you kind of want to. Hopefully, you still have your smoke or your flash. Maybe even a molly. What you could do is molly B main or molly checkered, and that'll delay him so your team can rotate. So, what's really good is a lot of people throw this smoke in the site now. So, what this does is it prevents them from. Running into the site like this because they don't know where you are. Well, you, you can roam around the site here. You can one way through this oranges right here. You can one way on top of the site also. So that's a really good smoke to use. Another good thing to use is when they molly you, you can just drop a smoke on this and kind of just peek around the smoke also. You can spam blue. You can spam pit. It allows you to survive and they'll probably just spam you if you pick. And if you pick a spot where you can't get spammed, it allows your teammates to come and help you. And as for counter flashes, what you could do is throw these flashes. It's pretty telegraphed and it's hard to get them blind, but sometimes it does. What you could do is throw this and you even peek right here if you want. Because it pops right here. And you can peek blue. What you don't want to do is peek this, because peeking this is really bad. You can have an opera post on you or even two guys and they can just trade off you easily. So you kind of want to just stay in the site and just survive as long as possible. You want to peek pit, peek blue. So what's also really good is having your teammates come. And during this flash is really good because it pops right in front of quad or pops in the area and it gets blue. And what you could do is just get one or even two and just survive. And you can even peek pit. And by the time your teammates should be able to come and help you. So that's really good. So for A site, I kind of want to do the same thing. I would ask my rotator to smoke A main for me. Or save his smoke even. And what I want to do is kind of survive in the site also. I usually don't like playing quad just because it's a common molly spot and so is fence. And also peeking A main is really bad also. Because what that does, an opera can be posted on you, people can just be waiting, you can take a lot of damage. And once you take a lot of damage, it's hard for you to peek, or even get a sight, or even get a kill as an anchor. You should always try to get a kill at least. So, jumping from here and spotting is really good, but it's pretty common, and so is jumping from here is also pretty good. It's also common as well. So, playing right here is really good, but hopefully your teammate has your highway. And if you play right here, it allows you to just kind of dance around the site. You can peek fork. You can let them run into the site and run into your crosshair. And some good counter mollies. If you know they're running the site at this smoke forklift, you can just throw this molly. And they could run through it, but there's a chance they won't. And they would jump top red. And it should be a free kill for you. Another thing you can do is just smoke out the front site, which stops and delays them or they can pop flush through and try to kill you which is really bad you should hold fence from here which is good 
they could jump top red, which is really bad for them because they're exposed to all the site, truck, highway, balk. So those are really good counter nades. What you could do is molly this and let them run in the site. If you get one, you can even fall off. And you're pretty safe behind the smoke. So you can play retake with your team. Throwing these flashes are good too. It could delay them longer. But what's really good is having your rotator flash from red for you. Because then when that pops, you can take a little jiggle A main and see if they're still A main. And if they're out, they could be blind and you can maybe get one and just fall off. And your opera truck could have your front red and you throw these flashes as well. Which are really not that bad. Also, another thing is playing forklift is not that bad, but it's a it's really a good late round spot. But early round, people love opening the door and mollying fork, so it forces you to go out. And I wouldn't recommend playing on here because it's not really a good spot either. So another common setup is two on two, and let's say you have a rifle or even an op. What you could do is smoke mid early round. And you could post on this, so that wouldn't be exactly too bad, but it puts you in risk and getting picked early. So late round, what you should do is hold this, and it allows you to kill one crossing under vent, or maybe even two. And what you shouldn't do is peak boost, because an opera can be posted on you, multiple players can be posted on you, and you can take a lot of damage, which is really bad. People can walk a white box, but what you don't want to do is just peek this because that's really bad. So what you should do is remind your teammate constantly that they can be white highway or white box even. And when you get smoked out Z, just remember to keep reminding your teammates that they can be vent or highway. You can roam around truck and even peek a main and help your teammates and go CT even. But just be aware that they can walk through the Z smoke or put Z on you. So that's just a smarter way of playing Z when you have an op. You guys do a one through one setup. So what the first bot wants to do is just smoke mid and try to get close mid and try to get under vent. The second spawn should try to molly boost. I don't really have a lineup. I just try to make it land at the very top of the boost. It should spread. So that's really good. And the third guy should get to sandbag. The second guy should go highway. And you shouldn't really all peak like this highway that's not good the sandbag guy could kind of hold like an off and go for boost and when they're up boost this guy invent could peek out mid and peak boost also what the highway guy should do is kind of jump spot and see if they're peaking mid or kick it out mid and you can resmoke mid as well a safe way of doing it is just kind of aiming at the general area aiming high is good it still smokes off mid pretty deep. You can aim a little lower. So you don't die from trying to smoke. And jump spotting like this is really good. So that's a pretty standard way of playing one through one. So for T side, I'm just going to kind of explain about the really basic smokes and basic mollies. And kind of explain about a little bit about mid game, but. It's going to be my opinion and kind of how I would think you should play the game. So I kind of start with B. So what a lot of teams it does is if they like to cross some room, they like to smoke B main and how I do it is kind of putting this dark window here and just aiming up here and just run throwing. So I should land pretty good at B. And a lot of teams molly under vent as well. Yeah, man, at this curved wall, sometimes it's pretty hard to throw. So what that does is molly under vent. They can't be there. It prevents them from boosting. The only spot they can be aggressively is right here behind the box, maybe even here. But that's definitely not a good spot. So what that allows them to do is walk into some room. And off defaults, a lot of teams break the glass as well. Do that. So even breaking that's good and just walking here. They can set up for mollies. So, how I molly default is at this gray line and the third line across in the middle. And for triple, I get on this dark line right here so you can stay hidden from checkered. And aim at these dots at the black line. So, what that does is it forces the CT player to fall back here in the open, even on top of this box into the open, or even force them to oranges right here. 
So if you don't see them back here, it's almost a guarantee that they're oranges. So those are some really good mollies. Another good molly is, or an easier way to molly is under vent. You get on these toxic barrels and just aim about halfway up the line. That might be an easier way for you guys. So what a lot of teams generally do is also molly vent, so it prevents a rotator in the vent to help to be in the vent, so you can get check and control. So molly vent isn't too hard. You hide the chimneys with the wall, and you aim at the right side of the opening, and you just throw it. So what that does is forces the rotator to either jump out mid or jump out checkered, and you get even have an opera posted. So when he jumps out, it might be a free kill. So for fast mid control, a lot of teams smoke Z and highway, and how I do highway is just the third line on top of the A. So a lot of teams can do variations of this, can have two at the bottom mid, two boosted, one bottom mid. And you guys just dump flashes out and take mid control. And mid control is really important because when you have one white box, you really want to get one to white box, one under vent. And have one kind of stay on the boost. And before you guys even get there, you guys should even molly sandbag to clear it. So once you guys do that, you guys want to hold for a pretty good amount of time because... Some teams like to retake mid. You can have one highway or even two highway not even peeking, one Z, and then just throw a pop fla flash over and they just fight mid. So that's why you guys want to hold. Once you guys hold, you guys really want your under vent guy to watch the vent boost and also kind of watch Z so this highway guy can't die. So you can do many things off mid control. Let's say you have an opera boost, he can come highway and get boost to white box and even peek this. Or you can have everyone fall back and have a lurker at white box. If you guys decide to go B, you can sneak into Z or kill rotators. Or group A main, kill rotators. Or try to sneak up highway early. Or you guys can do 3-2 splits. So those are really good. So that's why mid control is very important. So a lot of teams also do defaults into mid control. Really common default is one here anti-flashed and one opping back A main for the push and one door. And one spamming mid, and one watching B push. So late mid, a common way of doing it is just boosting one or two up, and even smoking Z from here. What I do is put put that corner into that corner, and I aim about right here. So that should land in Z. Oh, I hit the railing. Aim a little more to the left. There's an easier way of throwing it, but that's just how I throw it. And after the booster could even just pop out mid. The bottom mid guy could pop out mid like this. Make sure you clear your close mid and vent. Teams even molly vent before you guys take mid. So it forces the guy to go out checkered. So you kind of do the same thing when you take late, late mid. So a very simple A execute is throwing catwalk, forklift, and backside smoke. Backside smoke. So the backside smoke is jumping up here, and I usually aim in between these two small pipes and aim to the left of it for catwalk. I get on this white line. I have classic view models, so I put my thumb right about there, and of course the forklift smoke is just off this box. So those are pretty simple ex executes. But let's say you want just a forklift smoke and some mollies. And if you are smoked off A main, it's really good to learn it through the molly or through the smoke. So as it fades, it's really good to molly quad. And what I do is just aim under this line and I just run through it. For fence, it's about the same thing. You aim more to the left and just throw it off quad. It should land a fence. And your door guy should probably have mollied fork ready so they can't be fork right away. And you guys should throw some really good flashes. Throw a good pop out A main. Even throw this flash is good because it blinds any truck player here. And anybody trying to hold this angle. So once you guys do that, the first two guys should try to take this way up and clear fence. And if your third guy even has a flash, you can just flash sight like this. So what that does is it blinds the people holding default or even right here. 
that's really good. So first two guys should come and trade. This third A main guy could stay A main and hold the flank or even watch fork. And your door guy is kind of like a guy who can come in sight and trade with you guys or watch forklift. But it's really important to watch Balk as well. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body.